One of those heroes right now, Ken Marlin, author of The Marine Corps' Way to Win on Wall Street. Ken learned important leadership skills during the decade that he spent in active duty in the United States Marine Corps. And he says he uses all of those skills every day in his career on Wall Street. Now, Ken, good to see you. Nice to see you, Trish. Thanks so you having. wrote a book about this because you want people to know what you learned as a Marine that has enabled you to be a success outside of the military. Tell us about it. I did. I, it, in some ways, I wrote the book because I was frustrated. I just kept seeing people doing dumb things, things like Wells Fargo, which you've talked about, and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and other just dumb things. And I'd said to people, why, why can't people just run their businesses the same way, using the same principles I learned in the Marines? And I had friends that said, why don't you write a book about it? So I did. <laughs> what is the number one lesson? I mean, what, what can you say is the main takeaway that you learned as a Marine that then uh, applies to business? You know, um, there's 11 principles in the book, and I, I certainly think they're all important, but it does start with one. It's the first chapter of the book. Mm -hmm. um, it's a concept that, um, that I call taking the long view. What it really amounts to, and it's not that complicated, is the idea that in the Marine Corps, we all understand what the long-term strategic objective is, and then all tactics are designed to achieve that objective. And, and it seems totally simple and totally rational, but we see people all the time and they, they do things. They, they hire they react, people, they, right? or, or they, they buy a company, or they sell a company, or they open an office, and we say, how did that particular action help them to achieve the long-term objective? And so often, it didn't. It was just a target of opportunity. And maybe they don't even understand their long-term goals. Maybe that's part of it. Know what your goals are and constantly be working towards that. You know, you would, you would think it would be management 101. Uh, I, I watched uh, Verizon buy Yahoo. I thought it was a smart move. They, all, they already owned AOL. Uh, they said clearly they wanted to make OL, AOL into this powerhouse in sports and news and, and consumer internet. And Yahoo was a great move. And then I watched Microsoft yeah. by LinkedIn. So and some I said, of them Why? make sense. And then some of them, you know, Microsoft, as you point out, maybe not. Yeah. Lots of lessons to learn. Check out the book, everyone. Ken, thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you.